Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of The Good Place. This is season two, episode 12, titled Somewhere Else. This is the season two finale. Um, yeah, we're here, guys. Season two has been a roller coaster, much like season one. And we left off in the last episode. Everybody kind of had to confront their inner demons for the most part. And what's funny is... After they did all their stuff and ref you know reflected on themselves and whatever, Eleanor was the only one that kind of really passed. And even the judge was telling her that, you know, she would have to make this decision, I believe. I, I could be wrong, because it has been a minute since I've seen the episode, but it's it, it, Eleanor made ultimately made the decision to not go to the good place on her own, but even lie and say that she was just as bad, quote unquote, as the rest of them. And, you know, basically said that she was going to go to the bad place with them. And before they were kind of shipped off to eternal, tam eternal damnation, as the judge put it, Michael and Janet kind of came through the portal. And it kind of ends just like that. So I'm not really sure where this somewhere else is. because. The middle place, or the whatever they, they, I think it was called the middle place. That's Mindy St. Clair, and I believe that place is only really made for her. So they can't, they're trying to escape the bad place. They can't go to the good place. The middle place is off limits. Where exactly do they go? So somewhere else. Where is somewhere else? So, hmm. Um, all I can really say is season three, can't wait. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We're already here. We're at the final point here. So we'll see how, how season two wraps up. Michael, I don't know. Kind of worried about him, especially since we're now confronting the judge. Who knows what the judge is even going to do at this point? We're going to find out. But I do want to remind you guys, we are back here on YouTube. And if you guys want the full length uncut and edited reactions, hop on over to Patreon. There you'll find exclusive reactions as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, Hop on over to Patreon. If you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking. Hop into this episode. We'll talk about it afterwards. And uh, yeah, have a good time. All right, guys. Here we go. So, Michael, you're saying there's a new angle I should consider in this case? The premise of our system is that a person's score is final and inarguable. But these four humans got better after they died. That's not supposed to be possible. Hey, I mean, that's definitely a, a point. Jason, growing up in Jacksonville, what did you do for fun after school every day? Me and my friends whipped empty spray paint cans at flamingos. <laughs> so they got better in your little pretend world that doesn't prove empty anything spray about what they were like on Spray paint Earth. cans at flamingos. If I'm right, the system by which we judge humans is so fundamentally flawed that hundreds of millions of people have been wrongly condemned to a, an eternity of torture. <laughs> Damn, that was intense. <laughs> right? Look at my arm, y'all. Look, I got goosebumps. Look. <laughs> then I heard this little voice in my head saying, Tahani, don't do this. The little voice in your head sounds like the old lady from Downton Abbey. Maggie Smith is my godmother. Told them I ate a Cheeto and walked away. A Cheeto? A whole Cheeto? Cheeto puffs, though. I like those better. Whatever progress I have made, it's because you and I have become mates. Oh. British for friends. No, I know. Oh. <laughs> Aww. This has been one of the craziest years of my life. One of? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Oh, I boy. Love you. Oh. oh. Word? Word. It's like a cheaty. This might be the last time I ever get to talk to you. So there it is. I love you. Guess what? I think I love you too, girl. Aww. I'm not a girl. I don't know what I am. You're everything. You're AI. Hey, man. What's up? Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Ooh. I don't know why. That gave me goosebumps a little bit. Yeah. 
Ha, diggity dog. Yeah, now, now go oh, have sex. No. <laughs> well, the thing I said right after we kissed will always be hot diggity dog. <laughs> Whatever. It was an honest reaction. I stand by it. Kiss him. We figured out a plan to save your souls. For the time being, the judge is going to put you in your own medium places. Oh. And while you're there, I'll keep working every angle I can think of to get you guys into the good place for real. It has to be tailored to what's medium for the individual. So if you're all together, it ain't medium. Fuck, that's horrible. Between a month and a million years. Yeah, something, yeah, give or take. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Between a month and a million years? And it's either this or back to the bad place. Yeah. Okay, this. I'll say it. Bad Both place? Those options suck. Also, Chidi just laid one on me, so I'm kind of dizzy. Oh, get the wet floor sign, will ya? The point is, we've all gotten better. Why should we have to go live alone in a boring void because of a messed up system? First of all, y'all didn't get good enough to pass the tests I just gave you. You're supposed to do good things because you're good. Not because you're seeking moral dessert. Ah, interesting. <laughs> well, if they just gotten a... What? A push in the right direction. Oh, no. No, no, absolutely not. It's a little crazy. A little bit crazy. It's Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes? It's only four people. And it's clearly the best way to see if bad people can become good without knowing anything about what's waiting for them in the afterlife. Shotgun. No one gets hurt. Except them. Forever. And me, I assume, also forever. Yeah, for all eternity. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, that's good. But there have to be strict rules. Otherwise, the results will be tainted. And I reserve the right to change my mind at any point. About what? Please explain to me what the f What the? Why are you like this? Excuse me? Why am I like this? Oh, this is when she died. But I'm oh, like that margarita mix. Look what you made me do, jag off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's safe? Holy crap. I just almost died. Yeah, that was cool. A bunch of shopping carts came right at me, and then someone pushed me out of the way, and I mean, I could have died. Oh my god. Whoa, that's crazy. You know that old warehouse that burned down last month and like four people died? That building is like right by my old dentist. I would have been like right near there. Those girls are horrible. My name is Eleanor Shellstrop. Look at that room, Jesus. I assume we don't bring guys back. But something happened to me today, and from now on, I'm gonna try to become a better, kinder, more generous person. Hey, can I use your credit card? No. You know what? Yes, you can. Cool. No! It's for porn. I already used it. Did you get hacked? <laughs> hey, you look happy. Did you get laid last night? I didn't. Tried hard, but she wasn't into it. Maced me right in the eyes. Stung like hell. What was I saying? Stop talking. <laughs> what you're doing here, selling fake medicine to people, tricking them, is wrong. And? I can't be a part of it anymore. I'm trying to become a better person, and as long as I work here. Yeah, sure, fine, whatever, you quit. Who cares? Give me your company ID and your parking pass and your panties, please. Dude! Uh. What? <laughs> yeah, I want to. Technically, that is not sexual harassment because she doesn't work here anymore. You're wearing a wire? The company's being investigated for fraud, so I'm helping the feds bring everyone down. Good timing on your part. Dude, get help. Hey, remember me? Ah, don't hurt me. Ah. I have a calcium deficiency. No, I'm not calcium deficiency? <laughs> Came to apologize. <laughs> there, I did it. I apologized. No, you didn't. Yes, yeah, I did, what? Ass face. Nope, you're right. I didn't. I apologize. There's really no excuse. Apology accepted. Look at that! Do you think you could help me out? Teach me to get all horny for the environment or whatever? <laughs> all right, Eleanor. Gotta be honest. Did not expect this as a finale. But I kind of like this. It's almost like a... I'm trying to think of that. Um, it's a wonderful life type of thing. But something's gonna go wrong, right? Okay, guys. Um, Can I say something for a second? Wow. I love you. Oh. <sighs> with the whole dress bitch thing and people selling t-shirts with my face on them but you two stuck by me i love you you dumb sluts ah, come on <laughs> there's probably something we should tell you or not we have to it's the right thing to do 
I tore your dress. And then I lied about it. Oh shit, she's coming I clean. The ones who made and that Brittany and I. But we did not keep the money. Yes, we did. We kept all the money. And I'm really sorry. That took a lot of courage. That's for your little animal comment, bitch. I admire your honesty. You stupid skank! How could you do that to me? And I want you to move out of my apartment forever, literally starting right now! Now we're homeless. Okay, steamed vegetable medley and ice water. Can I just get the check? Yeah, what's... Mm, here it comes. The reversal. Pizza in the toaster? Genius, actually. They're suing you? This chick is claiming she has whiplash. She wasn't in the car when I hit it. Whiplash? I'm trying to be good. <laughs> How's that working out for you? <laughs> Being good does suck. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a crazy month. I ate vegetables for the first time and I got diarrhea for like a week. Uh, I know Ugh. we don't We need to know we can count on you. Strategy for the organization. Dude, I really dude, think dude, it would dude, be- dude, 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 you need to get dressed. I got tickets to Taylor Splift. Splift? Yeah, that sounds like more fun. I'm gonna do that. Eleanor! What? Uh, I quit. Eat my farts, Benedict Cumberbatch. Eat my farts. Now is she about to die? So tell me about the new business. Health we e sell classes university. at a for-profit university, and the classes train people how to sell supplements. Ponzi scheme within a Ponzi scheme. That sounds kind of dicey. Oh, it's super dicey. I'm in witness protection, so technically I can't be convicted of any crime. Nice. Definitely not true, but I also don't care. Which one's my <laughs> desk? <laughs> Michael's like, what the fuck? There's no way to help. Hmm. Or is there? <laughs> Dude, my boyfriend just texted. His wife's out of town, so I'm gonna head over there. What? That's lame. His wife is out of town? Last year on my birthday, I almost died. And then I did a bunch of stuff that was good. And then I stopped. And now I'm here. So Holy shit. Good. Wanna talk about it? Oh, in shit. In the end, Anthony Anderson and Jerry O'Connell started successful. <laughs> Kangaroo jumping around Australia. I'm surprised Michael's even listening to this. <laughs> to be honest. That is the plot to the movie Kangaroo Jack. You know the thing is the problem really with being a do-gooder? What's that? No one cares. Mm. I was a good person for six months. And you basically got shit for it. And what did I get for it? Ah, so you know, you're talking about moral dessert. Mmm. That's the lesson. If I'm not gonna get rewarded somehow, then why should I do good things? You know, I had a friend that said whenever she was doing something bad, she'd hear this, this little voice in her head saying, oh, come on now, you know this is wrong. And then when she started doing good things, that voice went away. Your friend sounds like she's one pickle short of a pickle party. <laughs> one pickle short of a pickle party. See, I think that little voice was her conscience trying to guide her in the right direction. Hmm. Possibly. What do I owe you? The real question, Eleanor. What do you owe yourself? What do we owe to each other? Drinks are on me. Damn, let Maybe. me get one more. <laughs> Look at those Cheetos. Is that the name of an episode? What do we what owe each other? What do we owe to each other? That is the question Tim Scanlon asked. Cheaty! Wow, look at her. Getting drawn in. I argue that we choose to be good because of our bonds with other people. We are not in this alone. Okay. Dog bait, didn't you oh, it's manage? over? Let's go. No Trying way! <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'm going somewhere else. Michael's gonna smile at the end and notice she's going back on the right path. Hi, are you Cheaty Anna Kendrick? <laughs> Anna Kendrick? From the long nerdy video about the little voice that tells you to be good. From the Kissack Foundation lecture series on the practical applications of ethical theory? Yes. My name is Eleanor Shellstrop. I love you. Can we talk? Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. Okay, guys, so that was season two, episode 12 of The Good Place, the season two finale, somewhere else. That was a good episode. And much kind of like what I was made reference to during the reaction was, um, I felt like this is a wonderful life in the fact that we kind of turn back time and, you know, we kind of have that fork in the road. Like, what if that didn't happen? Like, in this case, what if Eleanor didn't die? Hey, and um, will we ever find out who saved her? Is that even important at all? Is that, you know, or is that just supposed to be some random good Samaritan that just happened to be there just for this part of the storyline to make sense? Either way, um, I really like what we were doing and the lesson we learned here. Because at the, at the beginning, the judge mentioned the whole idea of moral desert. Which is an interesting way to think about things because, yeah, you should just be a good person to be a good person. You shouldn't be a good person to expect something in return. And, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. Some people can, can deal with it. Some people cannot. You know, it's just all comes down to, you know, how selfish you are or if you can put that type of um, attitude or behavior behind you in the, in the hopes of bettering other people or... Um, the human race as a whole, or whatever, you know what I mean? And it's it's crazy that we have, kind of have that contrast be between Eleanor, who was trying to do good in that six-month block of time, or in her case, five years. Um, it, it's, it's crazy seeing that side of her contrasted against her awful, awful friends. Like, oh, holy shit, those girls were terrible, you know? And I get it. We, 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 we have to make these characters so unlikable to the point where it's literally like looking at black and white. Like you can see it good and bad. Um, no matter how you cut the cake here, there is a solid contrast between the two sides, the yin and yang. Um, so that was a really neat st uh, story element. I really liked how Eleanor kind of, well, how Michael came back or not came back, but put himself in the position to be that bartender because it's funny because bartenders usually are, are kind of, are kind of like therapists in a way. Cause you're, people are usually there to kind of loosen up. And if they're like feeling a certain type of way, the bartender's there to kind of listen. And of course, you know, be there to make you drinks and you know, you give them money, but for the most part, they're there to, you know, ensure that their guests or patrons, you know, have a good time. And, you know, and, and engage in conversation. So the fact that Michael was able to plant these seeds to put Eleanor back on this path was awesome. Especially at the end here, where I paused it right here. Um, you see Michael looking at the, the tape or whatever he's looking at. And notices that Eleanor's back on track. And it's like, all right, here we go. So what are we going to do here with Eleanor and um, Chidi? Because I'm loving that we came back to that. And speaking of that... We're going to circle back to the beginning where they finally kissed. Like, Chidi legit kissed Eleanor. And that was a great moment. I love that. 100%. Now, the thing is, what, are, what about the other characters? Are we going to see their middle places in the following season? I hope so. Just because um, I, I really want to see what, what, like where wherever they round up also. Um, like, Tahani, Chidi, Jason. Like, do they... How are they going to, like find them find themselves back to each other you know what i mean so i guess the the way the show works i'm engaged i'm excited i can't wait to see where we take the story and how it kind of continues to evolve because we only got what two seasons left and at the rate i'm going we're going to be finishing it pretty soon but this is a good ass show i'm really happy it makes me happy it just makes me feel complete even though it's only like a like a 22 minute show I still feel like fulfilled each and every time. So I think I'm just going to end it there. And yeah, can't wait for the next episode, the next season for the most part. Um, yeah, I think I'm just ending it there. All right, guys, you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction. You guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety? That option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you're going to support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like comment share subscribe to the channel i'm gonna get out of here i'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of the good place season three episode one until then adios guys and if you liked what you saw tell your friends tell your family tweet about it and if you didn't like it shut the fuck up <laughs>